Welcome back to another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Thank you so very much for coming back, guys. I really do appreciate it. Now, in this video, I wanted to talk about none other than Licky Fotu coming out of University of Utah, our fourth round pick for the 2020 draft. Why I feel like he's going to excel in the NFL. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. Now, like I mentioned in the intro today, what I want to talk about is Lucky Fotu. Now, before we get started, if you guys can do me a big, big favor, drop a like on this video. It helps the channel out grow tremendously. And if you're new and new to the Arizona Sports Fan YouTube channel, make sure you drop a subscription. We're trying to hit 3,000 subscriptions by the beginning of uh, the NFL season, which I think right now we're about three weeks away from the NFL season, at least until the Arizona Cardinals plays the San Francisco 49ers. And man, I could not be any more excited. Oh yeah, and one quick last announcement here. I wanted to mention that fan to fan Network is now available on YouTube. Now, a lot of people might be asking, what's, what's fan to fan Network? What are you talking about? Pretty much, it's a collaboration of a lot of different YouTubers from a different amount of teams, San Francisco 49ers, Seahawks, Rams, Bills, Jets, uh, Ravens. All you can think of is available on one platform now. We created our own network. We have a website, www.fan to fan Network.com. We have a specific page on the um, Arizona Cardinals if you want to go ahead and check that out but we're available on YouTube now where we're going to be doing post games we're going to be doing uh, reactions uh, kind of uh, preview games as well so a lot of different shows a lot of different content coming out to you guys so do me a big favor drop a uh, subscribe on the FTFN YouTube channel the links will be under the description below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into it here. Lucky Fotu was our fourth round pick. He was the 114th overall pick in the 2020 draft. We ended up getting him from the University of Utah. Now, here's a couple different stats here um, based off of Lucky Fotu's uh, last college season here. Now, some stuff that actually, you know, popped out to me is that he had nine tackles for loss and he had two pass breakups now he his statistics for like sacks isn't all that great but I love the idea of Lucky Fotu getting nine tackles for loss like that pretty much means when a running back is trying to you know kind of come in and he pretty much tackles them not meeting the, uh, the the scrimmage like that's really exciting to me I'm super excited about it and this guy is such a big individual he's 6'5 335 pounds now there has been some people talking about him in training camp so really excited about him um, one person that really stuck out is Jordan Phillips he said some really awesome things about him and it's funny because he actually came out and said man that that's a really big guy out there now super exciting because honestly Jordan Phillips is also a big guy so to go ahead and recognize Lucky Fotu as a big individual that's insane crazy information right there i'm super excited to see the progression of lucky Fotu. there was uh, talks out there saying that the the defensive coordinator uh, i believe it was vance joseph or somebody in the defensive side that they really want him to use his body his six five body uh frame and basically be a bully uh within the nfl because he's got such a such a big body type now to me specifically he really does remind me a lot of vita vea uh he was drafted by the tampa bay buccaneers um just really kind of similar body type, really kind of similar, uh, very same uh, position. Uh, super excited to see what uh, Licky Fotu is going to do for the future of the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I understand that we have a very, very crowded room uh, for our defensive tackles currently at the moment. You know, we ended up also drafting uh, Rashad Lawrence. We have Corey Peters, uh, Jordan Phillips, also obviously Jonathan Bullard and uh, Zach Allen. Now, there's a lot of players that are still trying to make the 53-man roster. I have no doubt in my mind that Licky Fotu will make the 53-man roster, but be more of a depth position for now until he's able to go ahead and get his mechanics down um then at that point i think he's gonna succeed and just pretty much just kind of blossom into a great great nose tackle uh for the arizona cardinals now another crazy thing is that Lucky Fotu um, actually played rugby. Now if you don't know the game of rugby, that is probably one of the most vicious sports I've seen in quite some time. And, and I mean an actual sport. I'm not talking about like MMA. Obviously that's more vicious. But what I'm saying is like they, it's crazy. I, I've watched a game before in a rugby and I, I never understood the rules to it. But man, those guys hit really hard. So he was playing rugby for a little bit. And then a uh, football coach in college ended up seeing him and scouted him and um, ended up 
seeing if he could play the defensive line and he ended up putting on weight and he became the player that he is currently right now. Now, one thing that I really do like for Maliki Fotu is that he comes from the University of Utah. Now, their system, their defensive scheme is known to be very, very similar to what is kind of played in the NFL. So a really smooth transition, I feel like it's going to be for Licky Fotu. I think he's just got to work on a little bit more of his mechanics more than anything. Uh, but I think he quite gets what he needs to do. He just got to make sure that, you know, it's kind of different body types out there. The offensive linemen are going to be much stronger than they are in college uh, because obviously we're in the NFL level. So, so there's that. But the moment we get him going and he becomes a starter for the Arizona Cardinals, I have no doubt in my mind that we're going to be seeing the production out of him. We're going to be starting to see a lot more tackles for loss, which honestly is something that I, I would love to see. Uh, we need that interior pressure now. Right now, we have Jordan Phillips and Corey Peters. I think Jordan Phillips can get the job done. Corey Peters had some sprinkles of, you know, high, some flashes, and, and I really do like his dance, what he does when he makes a sack. So I really do hope we see more sacks from uh, Corey Peters. But um, I think right now, currently, Jordan Phillips and Corey Peters probably have those um, that position locked down because they're veterans, because they've proven themselves, and they can stay healthy uh, through the NFL season. But the moment something happens, the moment they, they need somebody to rest, the moment that they need, um, you know, if somebody unfortunately gets hurt or, or gets injured, Lucky Fotu will be in there. And I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to succeed in the NFL level. Just super excited about him. Um, I know I was saying some uh, a lot of great things about Rashad Lawrence, but now looking at the tape, looking at a couple different things, um, I honestly do see why they chose Lucky Fotu just over Rashad Lawrence um, in the NFL draft. Really excited about Rashad Lawrence and what he can bring to the table, but I just see the the physicality, the 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 hungriness into being a great player, and I see that within Fotu. So super excited to see um, what he's going to come out to and what he's going to blossom into the NFL. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you're new, please consider subscribing, and like I mentioned before, don't forget to drop a like. It helps this channel tremendously grow. That's pretty much all I got for this episode. Thank you so very much. I'm out. Thank you.